Well, hello, YouTube. Mike is back again with yet another unboxing video. Before I get into the unboxing for you guys, I'd like to give some background about the person who sent it. A few months ago, when I was still driving Lyft, I picked up an amazing passenger with the rest of his family. His name was Mr. Joel Frazier. I picked him up along with his lovely wife, Steffi, and their little baby son, Sebby. And we were talking about British sweets since he's based out of London, England. And I just so happened to have in my glove box some Maynard Bassett's mint favorites. Remember the ones I did with the Murray mints and stuff like that? I gave him a few and he was so impressed he was obliged to send me some of his favorite sweets from London. Now to give a little touch more background, Mr. Joel Frazier is one of the co-founders of Seven Tails Brandy. Seven Tails Brandy has a whole list of different choices for you guys to choose from. Of course, I'll be linking the link to the website below as well as Mr. Frazier's contact information. Now let's look at the parcel that was sent to me and has just arrived a few days ago. That is this, nice and heavy. And look, Queen Elizabeth is on the package. Hopefully the light hasn't blocked her out. But I cannot wait to see what Mr. Fraser has sent me. All of this is from England. I know it's gonna be incredible. Let's get our trusty scissors and let's really open this up. Let's see what we got. Oh, this is so exciting. I loved all those Australian sweets that I got. And I loved trying out the British ones I've had as well. And just to let you guys know, there's still a lot of those in the can, which means that they'll be released to you guys soon enough, the uh, videos. So don't you worry, I still have other things that are coming out, just trying to pace them out. So now that we have this package, I'm not even gonna look inside. I'm just gonna pull things out one at a time. I want this to be a surprise. And what's the first thing we've got here? This feels kind of heavy. Oh, Maynard Bassett's Sports Mix. This looks really cute. It's got uh, little fruit flavored things on it. It looks like a football. Is that like a squash racket? I could be wrong. But these are really cute. And they're only a pound. <laughs> Let's see what else we've got here. This is so exciting. This feels like Christmas. It really does. This is Jelly Babies. That's one of his favorites, I believe. These are really good. I have tried these. It will be in the uh, reaction video. You guys will get around to it, unless I posted it already. Don't mind me, I'm crazy. But I do love these. These are sickly sweet and they're gonna be perfect when I go to see the film Cats later tonight, or the stage show, not the film. I already saw the film. I liked it, despite what everybody else had to say. And this feels like our last thing that we've got here. This is Lemon Bonbons. I have not seen these, nor have I tried these, but they're really cute. It says that they're insanely fruity and crazily chewy. Well, now that we have, just double check. Oh, there's one more thing in here. This is the Vimito Chewy Bar. This is really cute looking. It looks like it has raspberries and black currants on it. You know what? Since there are three things here, thank you again, Joel. I think I think I could manage to try these. Now, spoiler alert, I've already had the Jelly Babies. They're in another one of my videos, but little, like I said, spoiler alert, I do enjoy these. They are very, very sweet, but they're also very, very good. But with these other three, I don't think it could hurt to give these a try right now. So now that we have these three confections in front of us, let's give them all a try. My gosh, I feel literally just like a little kid. Candy for breakfast. This is going to wreck my keto diet, but I don't give a damn. I want to try these now. So 
the first thing we're going to try is this Vimto Chew Bar. Alrighty. What flavor is it supposed to be? It's a secret, secret Vimto flavor. Oh, I'm excited to try this. I couldn't wait any longer. Ooh, how pretty! Mmm, this smells delicious. Oh my gosh. Well, let's see what we got. This is the Vimto Chew Bar. Mm, that's a snap foot. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like almost like a very strong blueberry yogurt if it was chewy mm. spectacular Chef kiss. Why can't we get good stuff like this? <laughs> we don't deserve it. Wow. The Vimto Chew Bar, sensational. I could eat a whole case of these things. And now for our next thing to try, we are going to try the Maynard Bassett's Sports Mix. I see there are four different distinct flavors on here. However, one thing of note, I don't see any blue colored, and I think there's a reason for that. You see, it seems like Australian and other British sweets as well. Obviously, these are British. Hello, Maynard Bassett's. You guys seem to make flavors based off of natural things. You see, we would also in the States have a red, a yellow, and a green, which would obviously be cherry, lemon, and lime, as well as uh, orange. But you guys don't have any blue here because a blue raspberry is not a real thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's even cuter things in here. Look at those. Oh my gosh. Mmm, smells delicious. We have what looks like, is that a jacket or a parka? Let's give this one a try first. Mmm. Nice and chewy. Mmm. I like how these are harder to chew. You get to savor the flavor. Mm. Sensational. And this one looks like a cricket racket, I guess you could call it, or a cricket stick, I'm not sure. Is that black currant? So good. Mm. I can't make out what this little one is though. Collectible. Mm hmm. It tastes like apricot. Mm. This tastes amazing. Mm. 
and my final one, this racket here. <laughs> and it's green. It's lime. <laughs> Maynard Bassett has done it again. The lime flavor is so well balanced with the sweet flavors, you know, the sweets of sugar and glucose. Most of all, you get to chew these things. I love that about these sweets from abroad because I think I've just had five of these things and I'm good. I don't feel the urge to keep reaching for handfuls and then before you know it, the bag's gone. I mean, for one pound, you get a good assortment of sweets here and you get good stuff and you get good variety and only a literal, a handful of these are good enough. We need to do better, USA. We need to do better. And now we've reached the final thing in this package that the wonderful Mr. Joel Frazier has sent me from the UK. That is the lemon bonbons. I deliberately waited to try these last because I could just tell these are gonna be sensational. Oh my gosh. These are made by Bobby Spoods. Never heard of them. But I know these are gonna be good because it says that these are insanely fruity and crazily chewy. And if there's any one thing I love, I love anything that's citrus. Now, let's see what we got. Oh, these are adorbs. Look at all these, oh my gosh. Ooh, I can smell the lemon. Look at that. They're so cute. Let's see what they taste like. This is Bobby's Lemon Bonbons. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, wow. Oh. Joking for me. I'm joking. Too good. Mm. Only one more for me. Wow. Mm. These are out of this world. It's so chilly. These pack such a good lemon flavor. So chilling. That's not overpowering. It's not sickly sweet. But it's just right. These taste so unbelievably good. It's gonna to be torture, torture for me to put these away because I, I want to eat the whole bag. These are so damn good and you can chew them for so long. Even the powdery sugar coating on the outside is, is to die for. Bobby's Candies, you guys have made a sensational product. This is by far one of the greatest sweets or lollies, whatever you want to call it, I have ever had in my life. Bar none. Bravo to you.
Well, that wraps up my very first time doing an unboxing and taste testing all in one video. Those were sweets from the UK, courtesy of Mr. Joel Frazier. Once again, thank you, thank you, thank you. And don't forget, you guys, make sure that you check out his website and drop him a line and tell him Mike says hi. And thank you guys once again for participating thus far. And I want to thank all of my subscribers as well. We are almost up to 2300 as of this recording. Let's keep her going. And don't forget, you guys, I do have some more taste testing videos that I have recorded prior to this, but they'll be coming out eventually sooner than you think. But I did not want this package to get old by any stretch of the imagination. Well, thank you guys again. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You guys take care and you be well out there. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Enjoy your fall. Bye.